Hello everyone, my name is Eggs Benedict, and welcome back to Let's Play Five Nights at Freddy's Sister Location! No, it's not Eggs Benedict! My name is Jasirium. This game got inside my head, and it's trying to make me talk by saying that my name is Eggs Benedict. Get out of my head! <sighs> okay. Felt a little strange there. Anyways, welcome back to Let's Play Five Nights at Freddy's Sister Location. In the last episode, we got through the first night, easy peasy. We encountered the Biddy Babs. And we tried to get through the breaker room in the Ballora Gallery, but eventually we met our comeuppance from Funtime Freddy. And in this episode, we're going to try to get through the breaker room, and hopefully out of this place. Without any further delays, let's continue. And of course, because we died, it sends us all- SHUT UP! So yeah, because we died, we get sent back to the very beginning instead of back in the breaker room because because the game is a dick like that shut up Ballora I see the door. It seems you are taking a Shut the fuck up! Shut up! Shut up! Oh, Shiza! She gone? Okay, let's move. Get to the fucking door. Just get to the fucking door. Just get to the fucking door. Get to the fucking door. Just get to the fucking door. Just get to the fucking door. Come on. Move. My god, Lobo. Not Labora, Ballora. Why did I say Labora? Ballora, please don't do this to me. Get in the fucking room! You may now interface with the breaker control box. Shut up! I know what I'm doing! It may disrupt nearby electronics. If you feel you are in danger, feel free to disconnect the interface temporarily until it is safe to reconnect. Okay, let's go back to Alright, so basically, 
basically in this little thing we have to do, we have to put up the breaker box by hitting LB! And when Funtime Freddy is trying to get to us, we have to disconnect from the breaker box and play the mascot audio to make sure he stays back. And once he's back, we have to return to the breaker box and and restore power! Of course, sometimes this mini game is a little bit of a crapshoot because The danger level doesn't necessarily assure us all that much of it being in the green and and the pattern of Funtime Freddy is entirely random. Meaning, if you're close to 100% and you try to deactivate the thing, he will jump scare you. How about no? Of course, another downside of restarting this whole system is that for some odd reason, or just for some reason generally, but for some reason, if you take too long to try and restart a system, at some point it will go back down to 0% and you have to reload it all over again. No, I'm not. It, yeah, like, like the voice said, it's probably just a mouse. I mean, you guys have a have a mouse problem. I mean, think about it. You have like huge rats, the size of sumo wrestlers, and they're just causing destruction all throughout this place. No, I am not in the dark. Everything is okay. Everything's fine. Go back. Go back to sleep. There's no cause for concern here. Yeah, it's totally just a mouse. No, I am not. Listen to the damn voice! <laughs> and fuck all! Go back to sleep! No one is here! Go back to your stage! Everything is okay! Ah! Just let me reload this damn thing! That's the birthday boy over there! It is not my birthday, you dunk off! You're standing too close to me! Fuck you! And goodbye again! Personal space. Personal space. What part of personal space do you not understand? Oh, are you serious? It's bedtime. Let's go back to our stage. 
Hurry it up, hurry up. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah! Okay, one system is online. That system's online. I think it was just a mouse. Yeah, it's definitely a mouse. It's definitely a mouse. It's definitely a huge mouse.
No, why am I going to a separate system? Okay. Go back to the stage. I said I was gonna do elevators next. I'm doing elevators. No, you don't! Elevators, elevators, come on, come on, come on, come on. Shit! Nope, no one is here. No, you do not. I am invisible. I am invisible. Waiting for the danger level to lower before I even cons Waiting for the danger level to lower before I consider going back to working. Do the two observatories and then we're done. Go back to your stage. Everything is okay. Alright, observatory one. And then we're fucking done with this mini game. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Shit. Silly. 
Jet! Calm down and go back to sleep. No one is here. Great. Yes! This completes your tasks for the night. Please proceed back through the Ballora Gallery with care, and we'll see you back here tomorrow. Fuck this! I'm not coming back here again! Do I really have a choice, though? Ballora? Ballora? Hmm. I don't hear any music. Does that mean she's gone? Is someone there? No. I can hear someone creeping through my room. No, you don't. Just a mouse. Alright, I'm gonna adjust this a little bit. There we go. Okay. Perhaps not. Yeah, definitely not. scary. As the sun sets, so also does another chapter in the saga of love lost between Vlad and his distressed mistress. Can they be reconciled? Can their love rise again? That and more happening now. Clara, the baby is in mine. Lots of geese get hyper and run around and stuff. They had to knock him out of the air as a broom. I have to go. They're going to dock your paycheck. They can't do that. I'm a vampire. I don't keep paycheck. You work the graveyard shift at the Friday Taco. Don't lie to me. Oh, oh, I get it. He's a vampire working in the fast food industry. When these two ships passing in the night rekindle their long lost love. Tune in tomorrow to find out. Mmm, delicious popcorn. I'm sorry, I just can't get over how delicious this popcorn is. Daddy just once let me go play with her. She's so pretty and shiny. Didn't you make her just for me? Welcome back to another pivotal night of your thriving new career, where you get to really ask yourself, what am I doing with my life? What would my friends say? And most importantly, will I ever see my family again? We understand the stresses of a new job, and we're here for you. To help you reach a more stable and relaxing frame of mind, we offer several musical selections to help make this elevator ride as relaxing and therapeutic as possible. We offer contemporary jazz, classical, rainforest ambiance, as well as a wide selection of other choices. Using the keypad below, please type the first few letters of the musical selection you would prefer. Uh, yeah, I think I'm kind of in the mood for classy jazz, so... See, it uh, seems oh, come on! Keypad. I see what you were trying to type, and I will auto-correct it for you. Thank you for selecting casual bongos. Yeah, I 
can work with this. Now that your elevator experience has been customized to your needs and you're thoroughly relaxed, it's worth mentioning that due to your lackluster performance yesterday, your time has been decreased by a substantial amount. Please enjoy the rest of your descent. Well, fuck you! I had to endure getting my face fertilized last night and... And you decreased my pay because of that? Well, fuck you! Just fuck you! Alright, enough of the casual bongos! Due to unforeseen malfunctions from today's shows, your nightly duties will require you to perform maintenance that you may or may not be skilled enough to perform. It became necessary for technicians to attempt to disconnect Funtime Freddy's power module. However, they were unsuccessful. Allowing them to try again would be an inefficient path forward, as we would need to allow six to eight weeks for recovery and physical therapy. You will need to reach the parts and service room on the other side of Funtime Auditorium to perform the procedure yourself. Let's check on Ballora first and make sure she's on her stage. Great, it looks like everything is as it should be in Ballora Gallery. Let's check on Funtime Foxy. It's important to make sure she's on her stage before entering. She? Wait, she? Funtime Foxy's female? I... Okay, I'm confused. I... You know what? Never mind. Great. It looks like everything is as it should be in No, it's not! There is no need to check on Baby tonight. Please refrain from entering unauthorized areas. Proceed directly to Funtime Auditorium. Uh... You know what? Fuck you. I'm gonna check on Baby first. And there's nothing you can do to stop me. Motion trigger. Circus gallery vent. Shut up, GLaDOS! over 
were the sounds of their own excitement. I still hear her sometimes. Why did that happen? I don't know. Unlike Ballora, Funtime Foxy is motion activated. For this reason, it's important to keep the room dark, as to not accidentally activate her. You have been provided with a flash beacon. Use it if you need to get your bearings and to ensure you don't bump into anything. However, use it as sparingly as possible. Proceed forward to reach the parts and service room. Are you serious? Was that fun time, Foxy? Oh god. This feels like... I don't know how to describe this, but... This whole thing feels like... This whole thing feels like... Just that one character from Saw, Adam? I think it was. Where the power in his apartment cuts off and he uses like a camera to get around in the darkness. It feels like that. Hold on, let me double check. I'll be right back. Yeah, my confirmation was correct. It was Adam. But, yeah, this is what it feels like. And we're in. Motion trigger, parts and service. Great job reaching parts and service. It seems that Funtime Freddy is out of power, which should make your job much easier. The release switch for the chest cavity is located on the underside of the endoskeleton jaw. To reach it, we will first need to open the face plates. You will need to press the face plate release triggers in a specific order, and it's important to be as precise and as careful as possible. Okay. Locate the small button on Freddy's face, just under his right cheek, and press it. Uh... Is it? For clarification, please note that I am referring to Freddy's right, not your right. Oh! Oh, so it's my left, his right. Okay. Great. Now locate the button under his left cheek and press it. So, yeah. His left cheek, my right. Great. Now carefully locate and press the button next to Freddy's right eye. Alright. So... My left, his right. Where's the button? Where is the button? I don't see it.
Hmm. I don't see it. Under. I don't see it. Where is it? Voice, help! Where is it? Where is it? I don't see it. Where the hell is it? Um, voice, help. Oh, this it? No? Voice? Um, voice? Well, shit. Guess I'm gonna have to do a whole lot of clicking until I find it. Alright, where the... Where the fuck is it? Where the fuck is it? Alright, go. So... Boo. Boo. Ah, shit. Where is it? Okay, hold on. Let me look this up quickly. Hmm. I wonder if it's above the nose. Where is it? Where's that frickin' button? The voice is telling me it's... under the eye, but I don't see it. Where the fuck is it? Where's that frickin' button? Alright. Boop. Boop. Don't... Where is it? Where's the button? Boop. Boop and... Great. Oh! And press the Fuck you, to game! It was in... It was right beside his eye, right above his nose. Seriously, why did you not tell me that? Okay. Let's open the thing up. Good job. The face plates should now be open. Locate and press the small button on the underside of Freddy's endoskeleton jaw. Alright, underside of the jaw. Okay. Excellent. The chest cavity should now be open. Remove the power module from the chest cavity. Okay. Great Got work. it. You will now be required to remove the secondary Where? power module. Where? Where is from it? Hand puppet. Um. Press the large black button beneath Bonnie's bow tie to release the power module. Dude, the hand puppet. It's not on his hand. Where? Where is it? Where are you, you little bastard? Stop moving around, you little shit!
press the large black button. Yeah, I know! Time to release the power module. I'm trying, but the little fucker won't stop moving! Stop moving, you little shit! I am in no mood to play any games right now. Give me the damn power module! Press the large black... I know! Shut up! ...to release the power module. I'm... <sighs> Shut the fuck up so I can concentrate! through that shit again. Oh god damn it! Parts and service. Great job reaching parts and service. It seems that Funtime Freddy is out of power, which should make your job much easier. The release switch for the chest cavity is located on the underside of the endoskeleton jaw. To reach it, we will first need to open the face plates. You will need to press the faceplate release triggers in a specific order, and it's important to be as precise and as careful as possible. Locate the small button on Freddy's face, just under his right cheek, and press it. Great! Now locate the button under his left cheek and press it. Great! Now carefully locate and press the button next to Freddy's right eye. Great! Now carefully locate and press the button just above Freddy's nose. Good job! The faceplates should now be open. Locate and press the small button on the underside of Freddy's endoskeleton. Excellent! Great work! You will now be required to remove the secondary power module from the Bonnie hand puppet. Press the large black button beneath Bonnie's bow tie to release the power module. Where is he? I know you're there, you little fucker. Don't think you can hide from me forever. to release the power module. Shut up! Just shut up! Stop moving, you little fucker! Press the large black shut up! beneath Bonnie's bow tie to release the power module. Shut up! Just shut up!
gonna try this one more time. Unlike Ballora, Funtime Foxy is motion activated. Yeah, I know! For this reason, it's important to keep the room dark, as to not accidentally activate her. You have been provided with a flash beacon. Use it if you need to get your bearings and to ensure you don't bump into anything. God damn it! Okay, well, it looks like I'm gonna have to save getting the power modules for the next episode. So, my name has been Jasirium. This has been Let's Play Five Nights at Freddy's Sister Location. In the next episode, we're gonna get the power modules and hopefully make it past night three. So until then, ciao.